art is always open to interpretation. However, sometimes two artists have a similar enough take on art or on the world that they can be compared. Nikki Rosado and Harding Meyer are two such artists. Harding Meyer was born in Porto Alegre, Brazil in 1964. When he grew up, he studied at Carswell Art Academy, a small German art school. He still lives in that area now as a 46-year-old man. Nikki Rosado is younger. She was born in New York City in 1986 and got her bachelor's degree at the University of Pittsburgh. She then went to the School of Fine Arts in Boston for her master's, which she just completed in 2003. She still lives in Boston today. Both of these artists portray mainly human faces, but the way that they do this differs dramatically. Harding Meyer takes faces from mass media and paints them slightly blurred, and Nikki Rosado creates faces out of old atlases. Let us focus on the latter for a moment. Nikki Rosado plays with the theme that people are connected to their environment. She attempts to express how experiences and the places you spend time in shape who you are. She is also experimenting with the notion that humans are made of lines. She notices wrinkles and blood vessels and sees them as lines. In order to express this, she takes old atlases and cuts out all the land masses with an exacto knife, leaving only the roads and the waterways. This way, no one would know where her piece was made of, so to speak, unless they were intimately familiar with that area. For example, this piece, called Owen, Providence, is a portrait of her friend made with maps of a place very important to him. She primarily makes 2D bodies, most of which are life-size. However, for sculpture pieces, like her two Bostons, she creates a packing tape mold. Then she places her pre-prepared maps over it and coats it in gel. This makes the map stiff so that the internal structure of wires that she adds is all that is needed to make it stand straight. Her most recent series, called Connections, explores how people are connected to other people and to other places via those people. She has said that some of these represent long-distance relationships she has experienced. If you want to see her full show, it is currently showing in New Orleans. Harding Meyer also has a very intricate technique to his art. He takes images from mass media, such as photoshopped models from magazines, and replicates them with slight changes. He paints them with geometric brush strokes that don't look photographic. Meyer likes to make his portraits simulate double vision, as his untitled piece shows. Most of his work is untitled. He also has a tendency to only focus on a certain portion of the face, from about the chin to the hairline. He does this to mirror human vision, which is much more horizontal than it is vertical, because of our peripheral vision. Meyer wants to show how we see faces, not how faces look in photos or magazines or even in traditional portraiture. These two very different representations of the human face can still be drawn together by comparison. For example, they both deal with the fact that the human face is not the only facet of human nature. Meyer shows how the face is perceived through our eyes in real life, and how this image can be distorted by media. Rosado wishes to show how people's memories can be reflected in their location, but also in their face, in the lines and the creases found there. They both also go to published media for their inspirations, magazines and maps respectively. However, they are also very different artists, from different backgrounds and with different styles. This is what makes the art world diverse and unique, and that is why contemporary art is so subject to individual faces.